What's good, Kings? It's your boy, Chad, from D Fun Simpa. And in today's video, we're going to be going over my personal biggest red flags for 2022 and beyond, not just this year, but for every year. And I hope I can change some of your guys' perspective on this video because these red flags, I think all men should have. If you don't have them, that's fine to each to each his own. Right. But I'm just saying, I hope I can give you some perspective because some of these red flags, if you implement these, it can save your life. It can save your life. Before we start, quick, shameless self plug. If you guys struggle going from the DM to the date, I made a whole hour and a half program for you guys to check out. This program goes through everything. I'm talking about the initial DM, the text messages, the date, what to do on the date, everything you guys need to be successful. But without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Red flag number one, she loves to post thought picks. And I know what you're thinking, Chad, what are thought picks? I'll give you a couple, you know, examples here on the screen. But this is something that I don't find attractive for a girlfriend. If we're just messing around, we're grabbing a drink once a week, having some fun, you know what I mean by fun. I don't care about what you post. But when you're my girl, you're you're representing me. And if you have all these pics of yourself on the internet, of you, your body out, ass out, to me, it's like, what's left for me? What is left for me if you're always posting your body sexually on the internet massive turn off and, and like the reason why i have it this mindset is because okay when men post their lifestyle they're in a way flexing for women because they know men know if you flex a dope lifestyle lamborghinis penthouse apartments traveling they know that's going to attract women into their life but women know if they show off their body they're going to get likes comments and dms you know validation so when you have a girlfriend and she's still craving attention from the village you can't build an empire with that woman you can't build an empire with a woman that still craves attention from the village and here's the thing they'll say stuff like this doing it for myself you're just you're just really insecure if you're doing it for yourself it would stay in your camera roll but if it's for you why would you post it for instagram it makes no sense. So guys, listen, if you have a girl that still wants to post thought pictures, you let her know before the relationship even starts. Yo, this is how I want you to move. And if you don't want to move like that, that's fine. But we cannot be together if all you want to do is post a bunch of thought pics of yourself. I am not that guy. I am not that guy. If you want to throw shaming language, insecure, small D energy, all these little things at me, it's not going to work because I'm actually a secure man. I'm secure with myself and I know what I want. I'm not going to bend and fold to what you want so I can make you happy. If you want to be with me, these are my requirements. If you don't like it, that's fine. We just won't date. You got to lay the law down before you start a relationship. Because listen, I agree with the woman that you're insecure if, if you, she starts posting those photos and you never said anything. And then three months in the relationship, now you put your foot down. You see, before she was doing it and you had no problem with it. But if she starts doing it while you're in a relationship with her and you never say anything about it and then she and then you call her out for it now you're insecure because she's been doing it so what's the problem now so put your foot down early before the relationship even starts so she can't call you insecure let's roll into red flag number two she's an exotic dancer or waitress so exotic dancer you guys know what that is but in my area there's a lot of bikini bars where girls will dress up in lingerie and serve you beer and alcohol and stuff like that my problem with both of these careers is that careers are they even careers my problem with both of these jobs is that the woman has to use her sexuality to get tips and money from men it's just a crazy concept how your girl let's say your girl's an exotic you know waitress goes to work half naked you know she'll sit on men's laps you know she'll put their she'll put her arm around them she'll flirt she'll call him cute she'll call him handsome rub up on another man get his cologne all over her then she comes home and lays in the bed with you that's that's just crazy some men are okay with that here's the thing now i'll say this some women are so attractive that men will accept it not me i just won't i'll keep you in like the fun box the fun the fun zone but i'll never make you mine because i'm not willing to say 
quit your job and and just no because i'm not willing to do that now if i was balling like i'm making you know a couple hundred g's a year then yeah maybe i can tell her quit her job but as of right now i'm not at a couple hundred g's so i'm not in the position to tell a girl to change her whole career to make me happy wait i said career again damn it i'm not willing to make a girl quit her job just so she can make me happy right now when i make more money sure but the whole concept of a woman using her sexuality at work to make money does not sit right with me and if your girl is doing that you know for a fact she's sliding her number because because guess this is what's gonna happen guys are smart they're gonna go to that bar or that strip club oh your man doesn't buy you this i would oh your man doesn't take you here i would and slowly but surely that bug is in her ear one day she slides the number one day she's leaving work in a lamborghini one day it's just you you never know so those type of jobs where men are kind of preying on these chicks over a period of time, because a lot of those guys are regulars. They show up to that freaking um, that, that spot all the time. And one of those guys are going to have game. And eventually, man, your girl may fall victim. So I do not want my girl half naked in a bar, half naked in a strip club, trying to use her sexuality to make money. That's out. The number three red flag on my list is girls that still desire girls trips. Now, let me explain when I say girls trips. I'm talking about you. She's trying to go to Miami. She's trying to go to Vegas. I'm talking very promiscuous places. Now, if my girl said, hey, Chad, me and my girls, we're going to go over to uh, freaking where's North Dakota to see the, um, the pictures of all the presidents. Mount Rushmore. Yes. Dang, there you go. That's fine. My girl wants to go to see Half Dome at Yosemite. Go have fun. Like places like that where it's not so promiscuous. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. But in Vegas, my girl is going to be a smoke show. I know that for a fact. She's going to go out and end up in another man's section. Those guys who are in that section, their goal is to get those girls as drunk as possible so they can make them make dumb decisions. That's just how freaking Vegas goes. Girls drink for free and guys order bottles so they can have girls in their section. And guess what, bro? Yo girls will end up in somebody's section in Vegas. Yo girls will end up in someone's section in Miami. That's just how it goes. They're not going to go to Miami just to sit on the on the sand and go into their hotel all night. No, bro. They're trying to get it in. So I don't want a girl that still desires to put herself in promiscuous places. Now, for like the one girl who's watching this, right? You're probably asking, well, how about guys trips? If I was with a woman, seriously, like she's like my girl, like she, we've been together for a year or two. I'll say, fellas, listen. I'll come out with you. My girl is coming. However, we'll have our alone time. During the day, we would go, you know, maybe shoot some hoops, ride jet skis. She'll stay back at the hotel. But when we go out at night, I'd love to have her there. And if they can accept that, I ain't going. So I'll bring my girl with me. You know, I'll have, you know, she'll have her alone, her alone time. I'll have my alone time. But I'm going to bring her with me just to get make her more comfortable. Another reason I'm not cool with girls trips is because I've been the guy they've cheated with. Me and my boy Austin were out in Miami, met a group of two girls that had men back home in New Jersey, and we busted them down back at our Airbnb in Miami. It happened like that. So it just, we know about those girls trips. And if they meet the right guy with the right mouthpiece at the right time, you ain't gonna find out because I ain't gonna tell you, bro. If I run to your girl in Miami, I ain't gonna DM you, hey, bro, coming to you as a man. Like, no, I ain't doing that. So just know. If your girl's in Miami or Vegas, there's a hot chance she's gonna, you know, interact with a lot of dudes. And what's the point of that? She can go on vacations to places that are not promiscuous, but as far as Miami and Vegas, not a fan of those locations for my girl. Red flag number four, if she is a sugar baby. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why is that a big deal? To me, it's a morality thing. If you're trying to wife up a girl, let's say you're in the talking phase and she has a sugar daddy, what well, she's basically telling you she will exchange her, her sexuality for income. This girl is going over and smashing some 50, 60 year old dude for three, K, three to four K a month. So if that's what she's doing for money, what else is she willing to do for money? That's the issue. It's the morality thing. Well, if the sugar daddy goes, hey, will, will you help me rob this bank? I'll give you 10 grand. Will she do it? This The, the sugar daddy says, hey, let me poop on you for $10,000. Will she do it? Because she, if she's willing to give up her body for money, what else is she willing to do? And to me, it's a morality issue when I meet a girl who has a sugar daddy because it's like, ugh, like you're willing to have sex with a man you probably don't find that attractive just just to get money. 
you're willing to sell yourself for money so it's a big morality issue therefore it'd be very hard for me to take that woman seriously because she doesn't even take herself seriously she's selling pussy she's selling it so i have an issue with that where a man can legit buy my girl it make me it make me uncomfortable knowing that my current girlfriend or wife at one point was being bought out like someone put a price tag on her and bought her out and was sleeping with her that makes me very uncomfortable so it's a morality issue and i'm not cool with it because if she'll do that what else is she willing to do and the last and final red flag for me is she never offers to pay for anything i'm a big advocate of taking care of the women you ask out if i ask a woman out i'm gonna take care of her but if she never offers her credit card never offers to pay for anything at this point it feels like a transactional relationship where she just expects me to be a bank for the whole relationship and i'm not down for that there's definitely has to be some type of um reciprocation in the relationship for it, it to work for me i know about y'all but for me i'd like for a girl to pull out her debit card and you know what babe you always get it let me get this one or hey you bought dinner let me get you done some dessert some type of reciprocation would be very nice to have in my relationship if you're still watching this video guys i do appreciate it i hope maybe you guys learned something today hopefully you can implement some of these red flags in your life because trust me Almost all those red flags will save you a ton of headaches at night for sure. You guys have a good day now. Peace.